Hello, Dr. Bill here. Today we're going to take a look at how to deal with something that looks complicated, that has variables, and is really not too bad at all. If you find this lesson helpful, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, the bell icon to be notified of future videos, and kindly share this with anyone you think who could benefit. So let's get going here and uh, solve this. We have an equation, which is PA cubed plus QA squared plus RA equals zero. And it says in the equation above, P, Q, and R are constants. If the roots of the equation are negative four, zero, and two, which answer is a factor of the equation? Okay, so this might be confusing to a lot of people because it has a, uh, a cubed term, right? But let's kind of back up and consider something that will be helpful in solving this. Let's say that you had, just inventing here, a times a minus 5 equals 0, okay? Well, what would we know about a? To make this a true statement, a would have to equal 0, because 0 times 0 minus 5 would give us 0, or a would equal 5, because a or 5 times 5 minus 5 would be the same as 5 times 0, which is 0. So a would be 0, or a would be 5. It's the same thing here, right? They're saying that the roots of the equation... Now, remember whenever they talk about roots, the roots means the solutions, right? The solutions of the equation are negative 4, 0, and 2. So which answer could possibly be a factor of this equation? Well, this means that if we plug in these roots to the answers, right, we will opt for the one that will make it a zero. So let's see here. We'll take uh, negative four first. And as I see here, negative four plus four would be zero, right? So that is actually the one that offers the solution here. It is a factor of the equation. So negative four plus four is zero. Therefore, that must be a root of the equation. And there you go. The answer is B as in boy. I hope this brief lesson was helpful. Again, if it was, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Kindly share with anyone who could benefit. Thank you again. This is Dr. Bill, and we'll see you on the next video.